All right, what is up YouTube? We're back with another how to sound like video. All right, so in this video, we are going to be doing Saba and it was requested by Amor Shani. Let me know if I'm saying your name right. So Saba's genre is kind of like, it's like experimental jazz rap. I don't really know how to explain it. That's really all I could come up with. So Saba grew up in Chicago. At his high school, he handed out mixtapes and he was in acid rap and him and Chance also made Angels to Together, which is a really good song. So we're just gonna hop right in. We're doing everything in Ableton Live so y'all can follow along. We're using all stock built-in instruments so y'all can follow along. Let's hop right in. All right, so the first thing I did was I changed the BPM to 135, which is kind of a fast, chill BPM. So it's gonna be good for this jazz rap. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna throw in a grand piano. All right, instead of doing a four bar loop, we're actually gonna be doing an eight bar loop. There we go, and I'm just gonna write out some notes. So let's see if we can come up with some. So one thing about Saba's music is it's kind of offbeat. Not really offbeat, but it has a groove to it. So what I did was I actually changed the grid to off. So when it's off, you can move these notes wherever you want. So if you zoom in, you can actually tell that I moved a lot of the notes to be off beat. And then another thing that I did, I changed the pitch of these notes to make it kind of detuned to give it a little bit of character. So the way you do that is you just go to MIDI control, pitch bend, and you can change the pitch of all these notes so i wanted like the intro to the song to be detuned and then the chorus right here to not be detuned so these are different than these so let's give this intro a listen All right, now let's throw in some audio effects to give it a little bit more character. All right, so I threw in some reverb, I took those highs out, I widened the sound a little bit, and then I threw in this glue compressor because I'm gonna want it to be sidechained to the kick, so when the kick hits in the chorus, the notes are gonna go down a little bit. All right, so right away in this intro, I'm gonna want some white noise. So we are going to insert an audio track and then we're gonna go to my white noise. There we go. All right, so I ended up detuning my white noise down eight semitones. All right, so I want a guitar to be complementing this piano. So let's go ahead and look for a guitar. Let's go ahead and go with the nylon concerto guitar. And then I'm just gonna want it to be playing the same thing as the piano, but I don't want the detune part, I want the regular part. Yeah, we're really gonna have to work on this sound. All right, so I threw in some delay to kind of fill up those open spaces. And then I just threw in some reverb, some chorus, and then I took those lows out. And then I threw in a compressor to take some of that volume out. All right, so next up, let's add a bass. And a really good bass that we're gonna want for a Saba type song, go to your bass and then bass drive. There we go. So we're just gonna grab this. I make all my basses red just so I can know it's a bass. And then let's just draw out our bass notes. All right, so let's give these notes a listen. Yeah, we're gonna have to throw in some audio effects. So let's throw in, you know, an EQ to take some of those highs out. All right, so, so far our chorus sounds like this. All right, and then the snare that we're gonna want is gonna be kind of like a quiet, quick snare. So let's go ahead and try to find something like that. All right, so for the hi-hats, we don't want something that's like trap and it's like quick. We're gonna want like a 
really rich hi-hat. Let's add some reverb to it, you know, make it sound like it's an actual hi-hat on a drum set. So when the first hi-hat hits right here, you can't really hear these first few ones because I have the reverb really high. And then I also have the highs taken out a little bit and they slowly gradually come back in. All right, so a big thing about these hi-hats is they're a little bit off beat, as you can see. And just like I did the notes on the piano, I went here, turned this off, and then I grabbed all of the hi-hats and I moved them just a little bit off from where they should have been. So they should have been right here and I moved them just a little bit delayed. So it kind of gives some, some characteristics to this beat. You can watch the dry wet go down here and the EQ go up right here. Alright, let's add some just random sound effects because the drums in all of his songs vary. He doesn't stick to one kind of sound, you know? So I'm just gonna throw in some random stuff. Let's see what I come up with. Alright, so not only did I add a pop and this uh, sound effect that I actually have in my sound pack, but I also added a new instrument and it's a guitar that's playing just a few notes during the chorus. And it kind of just brings the chorus to life. So let's give this breakdown a listen. And then as you can see, I have the white noise slowly fade out as the hi-hats come in. And I added a lot of reverb to both the pop and these snaps. And just like the hi-hats, I made the shake come in a little bit soon. And then this rim shot is a little bit delayed. So it kind of gives the beat some groove to it. All right, and then over here, I use this little snap clap thing that I made into a hi-hat. And the way I did that, it was actually on accident. I deleted this like that. And since I moved it before the drop, I left this little part right there. So then I ended up just duplicating that out and it acts as a hi-hat on the second verse. You know what, let's throw in our snares right there. Right here. There we go. But they are a little bit too high, so let's go to our EQ and let's automate these so we can take some of those highs out. There we go. And then, once it gets back to the chorus, I have the EQ come up higher. There we go. Alright guys, I hope this video helped you. I hope you learned how to make a Saba type jazz rap beat. Comment down below the next artist that you want me to do. I have a Discord chat room where everyone just sends in their songs and we all constructively critique their music. So if you want to join that, the link is in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.